Well, we had a quiet, mild day out there today, this Saturday. If you had any shopping plans, a great day to do so, but some changes on the way for Sunday night into Monday. Let's take a look right now, though, at New Bedford Harbor. You can see a boat nicely decorated with lights there. This Christmas not too far away, but we're tracking a storm system. Another one, uh, kind of the same timeline as last weekend, Sunday night into Monday. And with that, we're under a flood watch for parts of Connecticut, Massachusetts, and northern Rhode Island here. The area is shaded in green are expected to have the highest overall rainfall totals with the greatest chance of that flash flooding risk. We also are in a coastal flood watch in the areas in Teal. This includes the coast of Rhode Island up into Narragansett Bay and a coastal flood warning for the entire coast of Connecticut. And the main time frame for this particular risk will be during the noon high tide on Monday as this rain and wind is expected to be coming through. Temperatures right now chilly out there at 36 in Providence, right around 40 in Narragansett. Smithfield slightly cooler right now at 34. So here's what to expect with this system. So we're looking at wind gusts up to 60 miles an hour in certain areas. This could cause isolated power outages, especially where we're seeing that high wind warning risk. Street flooding in poor drainage areas is also a problem, as well as that coastal flooding risk. As I mentioned, we're also carefully watching rivers and streams that are still adjusting from all the rain that we had earlier this week on Monday. And here's a look at kind of where we're expecting to see the highest wind gusts in this area in red 50 to 60 miles an hour. And this is where we would see potentially more widespread power outages compared to the areas in yellow and green. Let's take a look right now, though, as clouds have increased over the past couple of hours, it's going to be a cloudy start to your day on Sunday, but staying dry at first. These are the two systems that will be impacting our area Sunday night into Monday. We have a frontal system coming from the west here, passing over Indiana. And we also have this large coastal system that will be coming up from the Gulf of Mexico. Both of these will kind of combine and strengthen as we head towards that Sunday night to Monday time frame. Let's take a look at kind of the impacts and timing of that. So as we go on overnight tonight, We'll be starting off dry for your Sunday morning, but then as we continue on throughout the day, overnight Monday, seeing a lot of heavy rainfall, and this is going to kind of continue throughout the day Monday, really up until around 7, 8 o'clock Monday night. So a long time period to potentially see these impacts from this system throughout the day on Monday. Sunday morning, starting off a little bit chilly, but we'll warm up nicely as we head towards the afternoon. Mild high temperatures again, right around 50 degrees. After 2.30, 3 o'clock though, that chance for showers is going to start to increase and then become more consistent as we head towards Sunday night. Your seven day forecast here again, main time frame for the system will be Sunday night into Monday but most of the day on Sunday does look dry, which is the good news if you're heading to that Patriots game tomorrow. You know, I'll be there. I know, yep, you'll yep. be there enjoying the game. Have fun. Thank you so much. And it's crazy because just last week, we also had the weather hit kind of around the same time too. Yeah, so the main difference with this will be, it'll be an all-day event on Monday versus ending early in the morning. All right, thanks so much. We'll continue tracking that. Next in sports, the Providence